this is how to properly eat a Maryland crab. Maryland. This is your crab, right here. If you like, you can name your crab. I call this one George. I'm gonna eat George. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. Start by flipping the crab over, and you wanna look at what most men will make them feel queasy is, you need to remove the um, sensitive part of the male anatomy. From there, you just take your finger over, flip it up for his head. Discard right there. Now inside, you have what people refer to as the devil's meat right here. These are the lungs. Take all of them out. You don't want to eat any of that stuff right here. And then on here, this is the innards right here. Also referred to by Marylanders as the mustard. If you'd like, some people use it to uh, season things. Personally, I prefer to just get rid of all that out of the way. Take it, and once you're doing it, break it in half because it makes your life a whole lot easier when you, while you're picking it. Where you're going to start is, you're going to start, take that off, you're going to start on the back. This is the back fit. This is the money thing. Take it, and when you crush it, you press between the two. You squash. Roll that off. And what you end up with is a beautiful hunk of back fit. This is the best meat that you can possibly eat right here from the blue crab. And then from there, you work your way up the crab. Personally, I like taking the claws, the big claws off. This is food for your wife who doesn't like to get as dirty as you'd like to, so I like to set it aside for her. But the bags sit there, break them off one at a time, and come like here. Usually, some people like to dip sauces, some people don't. I prefer to mix butter and vinegar with a little bit of old bag, just for a little taste. And go ahead and eat. Now, never forget these little guys right here, the legs. Most important thing, you gotta get this right here, squeeze that meat out. Because if you're gonna be eating these, you gotta enjoy them. Very, very important. Take them, toss them out, and just keep working up the crowd. Never, never forget the importance of a good drink while you're doing it. It's the most important thing. You gotta have a good beer or a good Bloody Mary. It always goes well with crabs. Alright, I'm back um, to about fifth or sixth crab and um, starting to slow down a little bit. But just a little bit of liquid libation and then that will always get you going. I switched from Bloody Marys to Miller Lite. You, know, you need a good beer when you're eating a good Maryland crab. Seeing as you uh, start to catch your uh, carcass bodies here, and then you just keep going. Uh, eating crabs can be about a three or four hour ordeal if you really want to do it right. So there it is, how to video of how to properly eat Maryland blue crab.